pigeons on the island of Sodor are really useful. They are proud to be useful, and they are proud to be famous engines. But certain engines are good at certain things, and, that was make, and that's what makes them unique. Henry is good at pulling Ling Tigmuth Kippers. Thomas is able to sh uh, pull his coaches and Anne Claremont on his branch line. And he also is good at racing Birdie the Bus. But he's not allowed to do it with Sir Topham Hat standards. One day, and Gordon is able to, is good at the Best Express. One day, he arrived at the, well, it was pulling out of the docks when Diesel was in his way. Move out of my way, he said. I got a train to pull. Diesel backed out of Gordon's way. Someday, you old engines are all are going to be scrapped. You're old and clacked out and not useful anymore. Not useful? Why, that is just the definition of preposterous. How dare you say that to me, Diesel? Diesel. I am the opposite of that. I am able to pull a train in just fine. And I have the best... Ride of any engine. Gordon puffed on with his work, but down in his firebox deep inside, he felt a sinking feeling that he was uh, Diesel's was opinion was right. Diesel went to go tell his other fellow Diesel friends. He boasted about Gordon and told them what he had heard. Why, that sounds just terrible. But why would we want to tease him? He's such a good engine. Everybody listen to me. Gordon has been very, very mean to me lately. And he's been getting under my paintwork. And so I am not pleased with what he's doing to me or anyone else. So that, that, for, that, for that, for all the news that we find him, we will tease him with it. And we will show our superiority over the other, uh, or T, to Sir Ahmad, to show the diesels are better and steam engines. Steam engines are old and clacked out and aren't really useful anymore. <laughs> I could beg a differ on that, Diesel, because I am the coolest engine in the world. You're not an engine, Benjamin. You're just a piece of rolling stock. <sighs> the next couple of weeks, Gordon is having a couple of problems with his, with his body. When Diesel found out about it, he was chuckling to himself. Looks like you steam engines need the or the need need of help, and it looks like you are looks like you're you're faulty. It looks like you whistling to you won't happen. <sighs> Another whistles with engines. <laughs> oh, Gordon went red in the face with rage. That devious diesel has been causing me anger, and I will not stand for it. He has a point, you know, Gordon. You shouldn't be forcing everybody to be whistling at you. Silence, Emily. I have work to do. When Gordon next saw Emily, he was cross that she, did, she didn't whistle at him. This made Gordon so cross that he didn't see the giant tanker of raspberry syrup run. It was too late! Gordon was a mess and his wheels had come off the tracks. A few of uh, other engines and Thomas's friends walked by to give Gordon his just desserts teasing.
But Gordon didn't realize that after Thomas had came and teased him about it, he you never would have expected Diesel to come up and tease him. So, looks like I was right. You steamies are old and out of date, and you're meant for the scrap heap. Gordon couldn't reply. His, his reply was drowned under the sound of, of raspberry syrup. <laughs> Diesel dieseled away with, tr with laughing at triumph. One afternoon, the yard manager came to see Diesel and his driver. You are to take a train of trucks full of parts for the engines to the docks so they can be loaded up for the mainland. Yes, sir, said Diesel. And he oiled greasily to his trucks. Diesel went to the docks. Took his train with him. When Gordon arrived at the docks, Henry and Salty had heard such a horrific sound before. Arg, you go doing all right, lady. Sounds like you have barnacles under the under that smoke box of yours. I'm doing just fine, Salty. Thank you. Another steam engine ready for the scrap heap. It seems. When Gordon and Sir Topham had arrived, went up to Gordon. Please don't send me to the scrapyard, sir. Scrap you? Why, the very thought of it, Gordon. You, you have, have made an excellent trip for these in, for these school children. And you, I have a question for you. Why haven't you all been to the scrapyard? Uh, sorry, the repair yard. The repair yard. Then, Gordon understood, and didn't let Diesel's hurtful words hurt him at all, no matter what they were.